brothers and sisters, it is I, Sir Eisenstein, captain of the Iron Hands. Today, I've been blessed to unveil some of the new cars joining the roster of the treacherous world eaters. The Chosen of Corn had long been known for their ferocity and relentless aggression on the battlefield, heavily depending on the early game pressure that their warlords can provide. But with the new and perhaps the biggest expansion to the date on the horizon, everything stands to change. This expansion will bring new warlords to all existing legions, along with new cards and mechanics. There will be more emphasis on the board control, stronger and better troops, more powerful combos to pull off. Now, I know why you're all here. So without further delay, let's have a look to our first card of the day, the Garax Rampager Squad. At 7 energy, it comes with average stats, 8 attack, 6 health. A true son of Angron knows to have more offense than defense at any given situation. But what this troop brings to the table is something that's been missing in the current World Eaters lineup. It comes with the flank and the unstoppable. Think it of as a better version of Space Wolf's 6 energy Varangi veterans. Moving on to the first tactic of the day, charge forward. Aside from having a really cool art, for one energy, being able to give plus two attack to your troop until your next turn is pretty strong. And if anything, dealing one damage to a friendly troop is a buff for world eaters. I can see all of you thinking the possible combos you can pull off with it, but you haven't seen how strong this card could be. Not yet. Which brings us to the new legendary tactic. Behold, the Chosen of Corn. This card gives the latest mechanic mission to the World Eaters. To summarize mission, it is very similar to the Dark Angel's quest in regards to how it behaves. It always starts in your hand and asks you to complete the mission. The difference is, it doesn't have the flexibility the Dark Angel's Forbidden Secret can provide. You only got one set mission and one set reward. Missions are also said to be harder to complete than the quests, but also yield stronger rewards. Now try combining Chosen of Corn with Shadrach and the earlier tactic we discussed, Charge Forward. Not a bad combo. And the last reveal card of the day is the reward for the Chosen of Corn. The Crimson Harvest. It gives your warlord the ability to give any World E2 troop you put into play plus one damage, plus one health, and blood thirst. With all these new updates, World Eaters might become the next powerhouse to dominate the board control and bring more skulls for the Skulltron. That is all for today, my brothers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content about Horus Heresy Allegiance. And let's see you hear your opinions in the comment section below. Remember to stay safe and the Emperor protects.